Mitchell and welcome to our first iConnect Champions tutorial. I'm your iConnect Champion coach and I'll be showing you how to manage your own department page as an iConnect Champion. I'm excited to start, so shall we go? In this video, we're going to show you two things. One, how to log in and access the back end of your iConnect department page and two, a general overview of your dashboard. This will be where you edit your page. Number one, login. First, start by logging in with your email address and password. You've already been assigned as an iConnect champion, which means you have full access to edit your department's page. But be careful not to share your login details with anyone else. So, now you're logged in, and the first thing you'll see is the iConnect homepage. You'll see your profile picture in the top right hand side of the screen. Click this and you'll see a drop down menu. From there, click CMS to access the back end. This is your dashboard. The dashboard. The dashboard is the place where all your tools are to edit your page. Now take a look at the left hand side of your screen at the content menu. Under the tab ATP divisions, you will see the pages you have access to, which will be your department's page. Right now, I'm logged in as me. As I am your iConnect champion coach, I have the privilege of being able to see everyone's pages. But if you're from revenue, you will only see revenues pages. Or if you're from sales, you'll only be able to see the sales page. I think we get it, right? So let's move on. Once you've clicked your page, take a look at the menu at the top of your page. We can see lots of tabs starting with details. This is where you can change the name of your page. In the two title boxes at the top, this is how you identify your page and what it's called in the back end. In the navigation label box, that's where we put the name of your page that will appear on the intranet. That's the one everyone will see. It's unlikely you'll need to change the name of your page, but now you know. When you want to edit your page, you can click on the content tab. This is the back end of your page and the page where you'll be spending most of your time using widgets to build the page. We'll be going into more detail about how to edit your page with widgets in the next tutorials. The rest of the tabs at the top are not required, so don't worry about these. The last thing on your screen is your save, preview and publish options. View page allows you to see the changes you've made but it won't save them. Save and preview saves the page and allows you to preview it. From here, you can also see how your page will appear on tablet and mobile devices. If you like what you see, click the publish button on the top right. If you don't want to preview your changes and you're sure how it looks, simply click save and publish. So now that concludes our first tutorial are we ready to move on to the next stage? In the next tutorial, we'll explain how to edit your page with some of our favorite widgets. So go get yourself a coffee and we'll meet up in the next tutorial. For now, get connected and join a digital world away from your everyday.